Hello friends. Welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. Today in this session, we are going to compare GitHub and GitLab. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. First let's talk about Git. So what is Git? Software development projects are based on teamwork. All members should freely access code written by their colleagues. It is possible with services such as GitHub and GitLab that allow documenting changes in code and uploading new versions. So both these systems rely on Git. So Git is a system that stores code tracks its changes in real time and synchronizes updates on local and cloud repositories. It's not a particular service rather a technology. Now let's see. What is GitHub? So GitHub is a web-based version control and collaboration platform for software developers. It is the largest Git-based version control platform, and it is most commonly used by open source communities. GitHub facilitates social coding by providing a web interface to the Git code repository and management tools for collaboration. GitHub can be thought of as a serious social networking site for software developers. Members can follow each other, rate each other's work, receive updates for specific projects and communicate publicly or privately. What is GitLab? GitLab is a popular, open-source Git hosting solution implemented by more than 50,000 organizations. It is a self-hosted system for managing your code. GitLab offers a location for online code storage and capabilities for issue tracking and CICD. And recently teams have been actively switching to GitLab, particularly due to GitLab's seamless support of C pipeline and Docker. Now let's talk about some key features. So the major functionality of GitHub is collaborative or social coding, continuous integration and deployment automation, Git security, GitHub PM or project management tool. Moving on to the GitLab's functionality, so its major functionality is source code management. It is also known for its excellent interface, automatic DevOps, GitLab DevSecOps, and infrastructure automation. Now we will consider the popularity and growth. So GitHub statistics say that currently GitHub used by up to 56 million users. According to the data released in January 2020, it is the biggest code repository. And according to Google Trends, the popularity of GitHub has been fairly consistent over the last two years. And if we talk about GitLab, according to the sources, there are 30 million registered users on GitLab and there are 1 million licensed users. And according to the GitLab study page, the tool is used by Drupal, Ticketmaster, BI Worldwide, and other enterprises. So one which is the best? Unfortunately, like most things in life, there's no clear-cut best choice for everyone here. It depends on your team, larger organization, goals, and unique use cases. In terms of out-of-the-box functionality and self-hosting, GitLab comes out on top. But GitHub is in a unique position as the market leader. It has a much higher number of integrations and apps. For self-hosted private repositories, GitLab is the better choice. You can get started without having to pay any monthly subscription fee. For commercial projects, GitHub offers a significantly cheaper enterprise plan. And if you're looking to get into DevOps, GitLab is the more thoughtful and likely cheaper choice. It also depends on what tools your teams already use and have mastered. Now I hope you all guys are now clear with this topic. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.